Hi everyone, this is Doc Mitch, and tonight let's talk about that kind of infection that makes your cervix look like a strawberry. So what's trichomoniasis? Trichomoniasis is actually a sexually transmitted infection caused by the protozoa Trichomonas vaginalis. This organism is usually found in the lower genital tract of the females and in the urethra and prostate of the males where it replicates. And this is passed on from person to person to person through sex. Um, the organism actually causes infection of both the vagina and the urethra. However, for the males, sa urethra lang siya talaga. Now, once the infection begins, this can actually easily be spread through unprotected sexual intercourse. However, trichomonas, please remember this, trichomonas vaginalis, you do not get it by hugging, swimming in pools, um, using the bathroom of somebody who just uh, who is infected with the trichomonas vaginalis. So it's really just um, because of sexual intercourse. Sino ang at risk for trichomonas vaginalis? Actually, yung mga tao na may multiple sexual partners or may mga iba pang sexually transmitted infections. Now, Unfortunately, mas symptomatic siya sa babae kaysa sa lalaki. Sa lalaki, most of the time, carrier lang sila. Ang mga babae talaga ang nagmamanifest ng symptoms. Incubation period is from 5 to 28 days. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Pag na-infect ka, um, within 5 to 28 days, pwedeng magkaroon ka ng symptoms. Now, pag nagkaroon ka ng symptoms, usually magmamanifesto 5 to 28 days after you get initially infected. But for some people, pwedeng mas matagal ng konti. So, ano ba yung mga symptoms ng trichomonas vaginalis or trichomoniasis? Alright, for women, they have a vaginal discharge that can be actually white, color white, gray, yellow, or greenish, tas medyo frothy siya. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Parang yung froth ng beer. And then, medyo masangsang yung amoy. Malansa din ng konti, okay? Meron ding um, burning sensation sa vagina or minsan makate, mapula yung vagina. Um, may urge na laging magwiwi. Tapos pag nagwiwi, medyo may burning sensation. Meron ding pain during sexual intercourse. Tapos, um, pwede rin actually mag-spotting or mag-bleeding ang babae. Sa mga lalaki naman, usually, um, they experience discharge from their urethra or yung labasan ng wiwi. There is actually difficulty or pain um, and uh, burning sensation during and after urination and ejaculation. And then, madalas din silang umihi. Parang ang feeling, parang may UTI or binabalisaw-saw. According to the CDC, 1 million new cases of trichomoniasis are actually reported every year. And unfortunately, mas maraming babae na affected kaysa sa lalaki. In fact, 2.3 million women actually infected with the infection are between 14 to 49. Although studies have shown that older women are actually more prone to get the infection. So they're twice as um, twice as more prone to get the trichomonas vaginalis infection compared to the younger generation. So what are the risk factors again? Having multi, uh, multiple sexual partners, um, unprotected sex, okay, previous history of trichomoniasis, and a history of other um, having other STIs or sexually transmitted infections. So how do you diagnose trichomoniasis? Now, since ang mga symptoms niya very similar to the other sexually transmitted infections, it's very hard to base it on history alone. So, physical examination number one actually can help. Sabi ko nga, ba pag nag-examine kami at sinilip namin sa speculum, usually your cervix looks like this. Okay, it looks like it's punctuated with red dots, making it appear like a strawberry. Thus, it was called the strawberry cervix. And then we also um, uh, uh, examine and look for the type of vaginal discharge that you have. And then, of course, may laboratory kaming ginagawa. Um, sometimes, actually, we detect it sa pap smear, pero ang mga specific test talaga sa trichomoniasis is the wet mount, the direct immunofluorescent antibody um, staining, and then the culture. So, paano siya iti-treat? Okay. Your doctor needs to see you kasi kailangan 
um, ang doktor mo ang magbibigay sa iyo ng prescription of the medications because ang ibibigay sa iyo is antibiotics okay so you can either be given metronidazole or tinidazole um, the dosage of which your doctor will explain to you already so very important that um, makita ka ng doktor mo para kung say for example it's just plain trichomoniasis may isang specific medicine na ibibigay pero if it's a mixed infection then that's something else it's another story all together at baka hindi lang isang gamot ang kailangan ibigay sa iyo lang pag nagte na antibiotics number one reminder do not drink alcohol for at least 24 to 72 hours kasi when you take these antibiotics it can actually the alcohol um the combination of the antibiotics and alcohol can make you nauseated and you may vomit actually Second, it's very important that your sexual partner gets treated also, okay? And then third, while on treatment, avoid sexual um, contact first. And then, personal hygiene is very, very um, important also. Now I'll give you different scenarios. If you don't, number one, if you don't treat your trichomoniasis, it can actually go on and on and on. And it can actually cause further problems kasi pwede siyang umakit na at maging pelvic inflammatory, a, a source of pelvic inflammatory disease. Um, next, if your partner does not get treated, pwede kang ma-reinfect. Okay? So, or if you don't finish your antibiotics, the regimen that is was given to you kasi on the third day you felt better, ganun din. Pwedeng mag-recur ang infection or pwedeng hindi mawala totally ang infection. And then lastly, okay, wait at least a week na wala na talagang symptoms, natapos mo na yung treatment, and then another week at least na wala na yung symptoms before resuming sexual activity. Hmm? And very important question, do you see your doctor for follow-up? Ang sasabihin ko sa iyo, yes na yes na yes. Okay? Kailangan at least after 3 months magpa-follow up ka sa doctor mo at magpa-retest ka because the chances for recurrence is 17%. Okay? Even with very effective and good treatment, pwede pa rin ito mag-recur. Kaya it's best to get retested, it's best to get reassessed. So, at least 3 months after the previous infection, it's good to go back to your OBGYN and for a visit for a retesting. May complications ba ang trichomoniasis? Unfortunately, yes. Actually, if you have trichomoniasis, it's easier for you to get infected with the other sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, and bacterial vaginosis. Um, and then, pwede actually magkaroon ng um, ascending infection and magkaroon ka ng pelvic inflammatory disease as I have mentioned earlier. And ano naman ang complications ng pelvic inflammatory disease? Ano ba yun, doktora? It's actually an infection, ascending infection coming from the lower genital tracts, tapos papasok siya sa uterus, papasok siya, pupunta siya sa fallopian tubes, at ang mangyayari is, pwedeng actually, this can cause carrying in the fallopian tubes, medyo mabablock siya, and thus causing probable infertility, pwede rin magkaroon ng mga tubo ovarian abscess, at abscess sa buong abdominal cavity. So, it's really not a joking matter. So, it's really very important that you get tested and retested and um, you get proper treatment. One very special concern is actually um, getting trichomonas during pregnancy. Now, unfortunately, um, meron kami mga nakikita ng mga pregnant patients na incidental findings sa urinalysis or sa pap smear nila that they have trichomonas vaginalis. So, ano ang uh, effect nito sa pregnancy? Um, it can actually cause you to deliver prematurely or pwedeng low birth weight. So, magaan si baby. Um, and then, uh, pwede actually, although very rare, pwede mapass on kay baby. At ang tanong, dog pregnant, pwede bang uminom ng mga gamot na sinabi mo kanina? Okay, usually, metronidazole and tinidazole is safe to take during pregnancy. So, um, it's better to actually get treated kasi nga, sabi ko, ba it can actually cause premature labor or low birth weight infants. So, mas maganda na na mag-take tayo ng antibiotics na for a week kaysa yung magkaroon ng komplikasyon si baby. So, 
bottom line, whatever kind of discharge that you have, if you're not feeling comfortable, if you feel like it's really not normal, the best thing that you can do is actually go to your doctor. Although ngayong pandemic, medyo difficult yun, di ba? And it's kind of strange naman that you take a picture of your discharge or of your vagina and show it to your doctor through your, your phone, di ba? So, maybe what you can do first is you can do telemedicine, you call your obstetrician gynecologist, tell her about what you're feeling, and then she can actually schedule you for an appointment in the clinic so that you can be examined properly. Hindi kasi biro, sabi ko nga, ang mga infections na to, it can actually cause more complications that we don't want, especially for those who want to get pregnant and want to actually have a family in the future. And it's important to note that bawat infection, iba din ang gamot na binibigay. So, it's best to actually really see your doctor. So, with that, hopefully you learned a lot. And then, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye.